So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another screencast in which I'm going to show you real quick how you can set up your own custom e-commerce web store online within I guess 15 minutes. So let me just show you what I did to this thing. So this is a domain hosted somewhere on internet and uh, I have uh, created a kind of e-commerce site within around 10 minutes so you can see that within 10 minutes with WordPress and WooCommerce what you can do is something like this and this is just the result of 10 minutes work so if you put in like an hour or so then you might be able to create extremely beautiful and organized stores where you can drive traffic and convert them into customers right so e-commerce is the perfect solution if you are trying to sell anything like uh, any digital product or maybe some ebooks which you wrote or even if you are kind of started to think of an affiliate marketing stuff you can kind of create an e-commerce out of it you can put others product but the only thing that would be missing is that you won't be able to put an add to cart feature because you want to redirect them to the original seller space but anyways you get the idea of e-commerce so setting up your own custom store was never so easy we're gonna do that within 10 minutes and I'm gonna show you how So we'll be making use of WordPress as the base for our e-commerce and then we're going to make use of the plugin known as WooCommerce which converts your WordPress into an e-commerce solution. So you can see that if I pretty much visit this thing, I want to purchase this cartoonist belt. It's $55. Well, fine. I'm just going to purchase two. I'm going to add to cart and you see that two belts have been added to card now we have another item I think uh, a t-shirt right so we have all this stuff uh, we can proceed to checkout and finally we can enter some of our details it just verifies the card we can enter our information you can pay via bank transfer or PayPal or you can add even more options inside WooCommerce you can proceed to PayPal and you can complete the transaction you can even sell digital products with it for example if you want to give a person a URL when the purchase is complete so that they can download their ebook or whatever kind of a poster or whatever you are offering then you can do that with this thing with e-commerce right so yeah that's it and uh, let's just start working all right, so in order to sell, in order to start selling stuff, what you need first is somebody to host your servers. Now again, you can go into highly technical solutions like setting up your own server instances on cloud and um, performing all that stuff, installing WordPress manually. But if you are willing to just set up your store and focus more on selling stuff, getting visitors, converting visits into um, customers then you might want to let other people like this hosting provider to handle all this stuff for you so right now what we have is in motion hosting and i'm personally using it for this code damn test as well and a couple of other projects as well and what this in motion hosting is is that they will host servers for you for your website and they are promising the support is extremely good and you can actually transfer your website as well if you are um, running on some other hosting provider or maybe you have a domain registered somewhere else you can bring them here and they would be happy to help you the support team as I said is extremely quick and good so you might want to ask them a question anytime and they would be happy to help so I'm gonna make use of in motion hosting for this tutorial and you can see that for the business hosting plan which is the perfect plan for as of now it's five point or rather we can just say six dollars a month but for code dams visitors what you can do is visit this link bit.ly slash in motion discount and what this would do is it would give you a humongous discount 
on all of these plans, right? So you can purchase business hosting for about, I think, so you can see that you suddenly got a discount of 56% on the original price. So the links are in the description. If you want to, you can use the discounted link. Otherwise, if you are happy to spend some money, it's fine as well. Okay, so let me just log in into my account. So once you have purchased hosting at Inmotion and got your login details, login credentials as well, you would be able to see something like this. So once you see this, what you need to do is actually install WordPress on your main domain. Now mind you that I am already running WordPress on this main domain. So I guess I would need to create a subdomain so that I can demonstrate that for the tutorial purpose, how to set that up. So let me just create a subdomain real quick here. Let's just go to the cPanel and there we are. So finally what I want to do is install WordPress. So I'm going to go install popular software, install WordPress, write down my cPanel password. And you will be able to see something like this. So let's just switch it to HTTP for now and just go with WP testing. The directory is fine. Let's just see this is our e commerce solution for selling ebooks. And you'll get best ebooks here for the best price, something like that. And you don't want it to be multi site. Well, that's a story for another day so let's just keep it to admin admin for now and uh, we can just say my email address here English and you can go with this however you can customize this later on as well for advanced options you might want to just want to leave it default and just install password string must be greater than 40 one two three there we go and it'll just install WordPress on your domain. Okay, so it will just install within a couple of seconds. It took around 20 seconds here. So you can see that uh, our WordPress is up and running. Here's the dashboard. So the another thing we need to do is add a plugin here. And that would be WooCommerce, install it, activate, and you would see pretty much like this. So this is a nice interface to set up your store for the first time. So let's just go. So what you want to do is for your page setup, this would create these four pages and that's fine for us because that's that should be visible on an e-commerce website so the store is based in India that doesn't really matter unless you're shipping products so you can pretty much say any state here uh, I'm gonna keep it USD so that we can use PayPal for the transactions and uh, yeah let's just continue fine for the payments, we can use PayPal, Stripe, PayPal Standard, you can use bank transfers, you can use COD as well if you are shipping products. Obviously, this doesn't make sense on digital products, right? So, I'm just going to leave that. And finally, you would get this storefront as the WooCommerce theme. Well, there are a lot and a lot of WooCommerce themes available in the market, but if you want to begin slowly and nicely, then Storefront is the best one. You can just activate this. And you should see that your store is really awesome. So you can allow these guys to improve. And you might want to create your first product here as well. So if you see your website right now, it might look 
kind of ugly but again there's a lot of things to do right now you can see that it looks more like a WordPress blog only so first thing you need to do is go to the settings and inside reading you would need to change this thing from a latest post to a static page and that would be let's just keep it to shop maybe you can also create a welcome page here so once you do that since we do not have any products for now we won't be able to see anything right but we can add a product let's just say this is ebook uh, how to make money online one-on-one -on -one. write some sort of description here as well after dismissing all these guys description goes here something like that you can put some product image and you will be good to go so you can now publish this thing and you can put a price as well here obviously for your product so what you want to do is for product data the general price would be let's just say ten dollar sale price is five dollar and this is downloadable we can add a file here let's just say this is secrets and we can just refer this as uh, what do you say codam.com slash let's just say we have a secret endpoint view source .json, which just gives you all the source code of codam so i can sell it for maybe a thousand dollars right so yeah and download limit you can set that download expiry you can set that and all that stuff so just update this and you would get your product ready so if you reload your e-commerce solution now you would be able to see something like this obviously if you add an image of product here you can do all that stuff now obviously I have prepared this site already so you can see that right now what we have for this view commerce which is a silly logo I prepared in Photoshop and by the way this is just the WooCommerce logo itself that ninja so once you do a little bit of stuff you what you can do is inside this add new you can organize products into categories for example we have this accessories action figures and all that stuff so inside accessories if we take a look you can see that this is on sale so I'm gonna add it to card and you can see that we get our card in here and by the way right here what we are making use of to get these awesome buttons is now again mind you that this is the pre done website the new one is this one so for the new one what you want to do is go to add new plugins what you want to do is see the install plugins and uh, what, I, what I have here is that you can see that we have this WooCommerce card tab and by the way I guess you can get that right here as well somewhere So you can use this customizer as well to add your logo and all that stuff. I did that logo thing from this customizer only. So once you do that, you should be able to customize this post. You can customize the position of sidebar, add or remove widgets. You can create a subscription type of thing within your e-commerce solution. And uh, once you do all that stuff, what you want to do is install this card tab plugin, which is in displays that add to cart button you can install this product sharing you can install this sticky add to cart you can activate all these guys separately <clears throat> and once you do that you should be able to see um, your products something like this once you add those products you would be able to pretty much go into these products uh, let's just say you want to purchase egg TV I don't have any idea why would you purchase an egg TV for $80 but if you want to you can add to this to the card and you can see that your card is always sticking around here you can click here you can view all the stuff you can check out you can view your card and all that awesome stuff so that is pretty much it how you can set up your own e-commerce online web store within a few minutes and obviously there's always 
always a chance of improving upon this thing and you can see that we are making use of everything stock right now stock themes stock plugins everything and yeah so so now even if you receive a lot of traffic your view commerce or rather e-commerce store would be able to handle that because you're hosting that on inmotion and these guys take care of your website so your server would probably not hang up upon a lot of requests as well so try this out try to sell your own things and let me know how it goes in the comment section so that is all pretty much for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in some other tutorial